Trucks carrying humanitarian aid were allowed to cross into northern Gaza on Monday. The move comes just days after global food security experts warn there is a, quote, strong likelihood that famine is imminent in areas of northern Gaza. And it also comes as the United States makes a determination on whether Israel has made progress toward improving the humanitarian situation in the Gaza Strip. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said on Sunday that Washington will also decide how to respond. That's after President Joe Biden's administration told Israel in an October 13th letter to take steps within 30 days or risk restrictions on U.S. military aid. Israel has been focusing its campaign against Hamas militants in Gaza's north and center. The U.S. said it is watching to ensure that Israel's actions do not show it has a, quote, policy of starvation in the north, where the U.N. estimates between 75,000 and 95,000 people are still located. On Friday, the Independent Famine Review Committee said it could be, quote, assumed that starvation, malnutrition, and excess mortality due to malnutrition and disease are rapidly increasing in the north. The committee reviews findings by the internationally recognized standard known as the Integrated Food Security Phase Classification, or IPC. The Israeli military agency that deals with Palestinian civilian affairs pushed back against the report. It said that, quote, all IPC projections had proven, quote, incorrect and inconsistent with the situation on the ground. Israel's military also continues to operate in accordance with international law, it said, to, quote, facilitate and ease the transfer of humanitarian aid to Gaza. Following the famine warning, the head of the United Nations Palestinian Relief Agency, UNRWA, accused Israel of using hunger as a weapon. UN data has also shown the amount of aid entering Gaza has fallen to its lowest level all year. Israel's UN ambassador told the Security Council last month that the issue in Gaza was not a lack of aid. He accused Hamas of hijacking the assistance. Hamas has repeatedly denied Israeli allegations that it was stealing aid and says Israel is to blame for shortages.